both in the veins. Um, first of all, it's a new driver from Purify. It can really, so this is a long flow design, so it can shift a lot of air. Uh, you see this very unusual rubber surround, uh, which is not designed by someone. It was made by a computer. That's the shape that has no uh, effect on the sound or let's say, let's say on the mechanics. So if you ask computer, give me the shape that is acoustically ideal, that's the outcome. Um, so that's, that's one uh, thing. So this driver can shift a lot of air. And what you couldn't see is there are actually two more passive movers uh, on the side or the rear. Passive means they're not connected to the amplifier, but they play along on the lower frequencies. So it's still a two-way speaker, but in the lower frequencies, uh, you have actually three drivers uh, working along. Um, producing uh, sound, uh, and that's why this speaker reaches down to 35 hertz, uh, which is quite useful for a standard speaker. Admittedly, it's a big standard speaker. Uh, it's not a small speaker, uh, but still a two-way. Okay, uh, the next track is the uh, uh, the back. Uh, digital amplifier means it's not a class D amplifier. It's not a class D or class AB or any other amplifier. It's really a digital amplifier that takes the digital signal PCM, turns it into PWM, and amplifies it. Something we call a power jack. So we don't actually convert it into analog at any point inside the amplifier, uh, which many amplifiers do. Class D amplifiers actually turn it into analog and then use a Class D power supply, a Class D amplifier uh, to amplify the signal. It's all the way digital. Uh, right until the speaker opens. That, of course, means if you play something digital, we retain the dynamic range, uh, the noise level is always low, uh, and we actually, on the one wheel, control the output power on the power on the output stage. We don't do digital attenuation on the front end here. We don't have a resistor a ladder or a resistor or pots or anything to control the volume level. We actually attenuate, not attenuate, we actually change the output on the output stage. So.